So my name is David Croft. I'm a lecturer in computer science here at Coventry University. Probably the most distinctive feature of teaching at Coventry are the activity-led learning projects. My module was written to incorporate flipped learning. We use real-world tools, so Git, GitHub, GNU C compiler, that sort of thing. Much better that they learn how a real tool works and the theory behind the real tool than we come up with some contrived fake example. So the benefit of an online VM system like Codio is that it is a computer that can do all the things that a normal Linux box could do. I'm Dr. Thomas Lancaster. I'm a principal lecturer at Coventry University. When I first started teaching programming, it was relatively easy because all the students had access to the same computers, the same environment. Now that students are starting to use their own devices, they're bringing in their own PCs, running different versions of Windows, different environments, it's much harder to offer that support. Now Kodio has got all these wonderful educational features and Moodle integration and plagiarism detection in there. But the main benefit for me is that everyone is on the same platform. The instructions are written once and I know that they're going to work. We have a Kodio stack which brings down the Git files that we want and then the guide talks them through using those files. We have various scripts which have been written which take their code and run it and make sure it produces the correct outputs. So it was a matter of writing a script which took me all of 10 minutes to actually run their Python code or their C++ code. The ability to just take a pre-configured set of software packages and throw them out to several hundred students has been, well, insanely convenient. I can completely bypass the software installation process. For universities, it's also challenging getting enough staff time with students in order to help them continually. Having the instant feel, formative feedback is really useful, I, I feel, and that's where Kodio comes in handy. They click check it in Kodio, and it goes and tests that their code meets the specifications. It sorts correctly, it searches correctly, it has the um, error handling and features that we are expecting, it doesn't have memory leaks, all of these things can be done and tested automatically. The possibility of saving myself time through all the built-in educational features is one of the main things that I like about Kodo. My labs have been running smoother. I have had fewer software issues. I think the advantages are really just gonna snowball. And I think that people should be looking at systems like this to streamline and improve their modules.